Lots of advices, many informations, loads of feedbacks. There's something not quite right here. Keep watching to find out how to fix this problem. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to Smashing English. Before we start this video, be sure to subscribe because we make new videos all the time and I don't want you to miss any. So with that said, let's get on with the video. What is a countable noun? What is an uncountable noun? Well, the clue is in the name. A countable noun is a noun that has a singular and a plural form. It's a noun that we can count like dogs, or cats, or cakes, or sofas, or chairs. An uncountable noun is a noun that has one form with no plural. It names something that there can be more or less of, but that can't be counted. Like food, or information, or hair. Now, I'm an English teacher and a lot of my students count nouns when they shouldn't because it is hard to know because take for example some rice look at this lovely rice now i could count the rice inside the bag if i had lots of time and lots of resources and lots of patience i could count all of the rice but no one does no one counts that. So instead, we might count the grains of rice, maybe, or bags of rice. So we're not actually counting the rice because you can't, if you look at a bowl of rice, you can't count that. So we would say so much rice or some rice, but we wouldn't say a rice or one rice or two rices. Do you see what I mean? So let me talk to you about how to count uncountable nouns. Let's start with advice. We can't say this. Do you want some advice? I'll give you loads of advices. But we can say pieces of advice or bits of advice. So if you want to talk about multiple suggestions that someone gives you, we can't say advices, but we can say pieces of advice or bits of advice. Or what about violence? We can't say this. The violences I saw were crazy. Because how do you count violence? How do you say, oh, that's a violence and that's a violence and because violence can be lots of different things it can be shouting at someone it can be hitting someone it can be killing someone so it's very hard to count that because it's such a general term but we can say acts of violence so a violent act it is an action that is violent we can count that because we can say oh they uh, shouted at somebody killed somebody and hit somebody three acts of violence what about furniture you know we don't just have one furniture in our house we have lots but again this is a general term it's an umbrella term because furniture can be a bed furniture can be a sofa furniture can be a chair so we can't say this yeah the house is nice but i've still got some furnitures to buy but we can say pieces of furniture or items of furniture. So by saying this, you can tell somebody that my sofa, my bed and my chair are three items of furniture. Now, what about information? You know, sometimes we get lots of information, not just one, but how do we count information? There's so many different things that fall under the term information. So you can't say this. You witnessed the murder. Give me the informations. But you can say piece of information or bit of information. Imagine information is like a big, big cake and maybe you just take a little piece of it. Oh, I just want a little piece of information. Not all of it because no one has all of the information, but maybe just a piece. And this is the same with evidence. You can't say this. Show me the evidences. But you can say piece of evidence, pieces of evidence. Now, what about water? Now, when we look at water, it's impossible to count it because what are you counting? It just 
moves, it's just there, there's nothing to count. But we can talk about the measurement of water, so you can say litres of water or millilitres of water, spoonfuls of water, you can give the measurements or you can talk about where you hold the water, so cups of water, mugs of water, bottles of water. Or if you're thinking about the sea, lakes, rivers, bodies of water. We can call them bodies of water. What about research? We can't say this. My students have done some interesting researches. Because how can you count that? Research takes so many forms, it's very hard to count them because they're not the same. So we can say research papers, but also you might hear bodies of research, which is the research completed by a person. This is my body of research. A bit like body of work. This is my body of work. This is the work that I've done. What about feedback? We can't say this. Could I have some feedbacks? But again, we can say pieces of feedback or bits of feedback. Bread, delicious. I love bread. But can we say this? My cousins are coming around for dinner. How many breads do we need? No. If we want to count bread, you have to tell me the form that the bread takes. Slices of bread, loaves of bread, bread rolls. Now let's talk about hair, because in English, when we talk about the hair on our head, we don't talk about it like a plural. We don't count them. So we don't say this. Do you like the colour of my hairs? We say, my hair. Look at my hair. But if I wanted to count the hair on my head, I would have to count the strands of hair. This is a strand. Or maybe a lock of hair. Locks of hair. A lock of hair would be slightly bigger, maybe like that much hair that you snip off and give to someone you love, maybe. So strands of hair or locks of hair. But interestingly, when the hair is not on your head, some people do count them. So if you have like maybe cat hairs on you from your cat, you'd say, oh, covered in cat hairs sometimes. But most of the time we treat hair as an uncountable noun. What about clothing? We can't say, I bought so many clothings today. Because as you know, clothing has many different forms. Hats, scarves, coats, uh, trousers, socks. So you can either count the specific item, you can say, I have loads of t-shirts, or I have loads of dresses. Or if there are multiple different kinds of clothing that you are describing, you can say items of clothing or pieces of clothing. Now let's talk about tea and sugar. I love tea, I love sugar. Let's talk about it. So tea itself is uncountable, but you can say cups of tea or mugs of tea or bottles of tea if you wanted your tea in a bottle. Or you can count the tea bags or the tea leaves or the spoonfuls of tea. And it's the same with sugar. It's a bit like rice. So you can't say this. You eat too many sugars every day. But you can say bags of sugar, spoonfuls of sugar, pounds of sugar, grams of sugar. But weirdly, in the UK, definitely, I've seen more and more people counting tea and counting sugar. So you might hear something like this. How many teas should I make? Who wants tea? How many teas? You? Okay, how many sugars? So you might also hear this as well. Overall, if you encounter a new noun and you think, is that countable or uncountable? You can follow this rule. If you can count it with your finger, beep, 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 then it's probably countable. If you look at it and it's very hard to count, then it's probably uncountable. And if you have something a bit more in the middle, like food, think, is that a general term or is it specific? Can I count food? I ate so many foods. Not really, because you ate so many cheeseburgers, you ate so many fries. That's the actual thing that you, that you ate. So be specific and you should be fine. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow us on Instagram, you can do so there. And if you would like an online one-to-one -one English lesson with me or my partner Bez, the link for that is down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Ta-ta!